I won't lie, you know, um, as someone who teaches filmmaking and photography and stuff, it's really hard for me to be totally silhouetted, but there's nothing worse than shooting anything at goddamn 12 o'clock in the afternoon when the sun's right overhead and everywhere there's a damn shadow or you're blown out. Um, I probably don't even need to see my face, to be honest, but it is what it is. I just moved off the swing, so this may not even be any better, but it is what it is. So, uh, moving on, um, I want to talk about Grand Wizard Theodore. Grand Wizard Theodore is super important. First, first off, he was a mentee of Grandmaster Flash at a very young age, 12 or 13. And he's important because he, he did two things. Number one, uh, he essentially is, is given credit as the inventor of scratching. Now, in hip-hop, you know, there's no documentation of who did what first, but it's whoever popularized it first, you know, and largely is given credit by the culture as a whole. You know, a lot of people bicker and banter over that. You want to come up here, dude? Uh, bicker and banter over that, but Flash is largely given credit as, you know, the one who invented, you know, and popularized cutting. He gave things names, you know, uh, all that, all that stuff. You know, he demonstrated in public first, you know. Um, the interesting thing about Flash was he was really the first uh, to put his hands on the record. Before that, when people would cut, they would put their hands on the outside of the record. And Flash was like, you know, put his hands on the record itself, getting his finger grease all over it. And people were like, what are you doing? You have to understand, too, when he first demonstrated the quick mix, I believe, you know, out, out at like a, um, you know, a party, like people were not impressed. They were like, what are you doing? he was cutting so fast on time all the breaks you know and it was just so different you know um anyway so theodore was mentored by grandmaster flash um you know and he's largely given credit as the inventor of of scratching itself of basically taking the record moving it back and forth musically over another record um and and you know uh, he also took Herc's needle drop, so picking up a record and bringing it to, trying to bring it to the top of the beat. He was the one who did, was able to figure out how to do that and do that super musically and super on time. And that was a major, major, major important thing. So he's often given credit as like the one for needle dropping, but doing it in a very specific way. Like Herc was the first, apparently, to pick it up, try to cue up a break, but theater was the first to actually really develop the technique musically. Um, and you know, this is what he, you know, how, how did he discover scratching, you know, or invent it? It was largely by accident. Um, this is what he says, I used to come home from high school or from school every day and play records. This one particular day, my mother banged on the door yelling at me because the music was too loud. Uh, when she walked in, I still had my hand on the record I was playing and, uh, I kind of moved it back and forth. When she left, I was like, yo, that sounded kind of cool. Uh, I better experiment with that. So literally he you know, stopped and he had his hand on the record and was just moving back and it just had a cool, a cool sound to that. Now again, Flash would say he invented scratching because Flash was cutting records be before this, but uh, theater was the f first to really do it musically. So I want you to check out this video. Here's a video of Grand Wizard Theodore doing his needle drop and doing it on time. It's real impressive because you got to think he's picking up a record and he's moving it back a couple grooves in a record on time. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. 